What's good, Raider Nation? I want to talk to you guys about the Antonio Brown situation because things have been popping off. If you guys have not heard yet, uh, there's been a lot of reports that Antonio Brown's unhappy over his helmet situation. I just want to give you guys my quick thoughts and opinions because Antonio Brown has posted to his Instagram. And I want to just give you guys my quick take on the whole situation and kind of what it means. Uh, first and foremost, there was a couple of reports that have come out today and I kind of want to just go in sequence with these reports. So basically, early in the morning today, uh, Chase Williams from the Pittsburgh radio went ahead and posted this tweet. Uh, essentially, he said 10 practices into training camp and AB has already gone radio silent with the Raiders. They have zero clue where he is or what the progress of the foot injury is. So essentially, uh, Chase Williams, Pittsburgh uh, sports anchor or whatever you want to call it, is claiming that the Raiders have no clue what's going on with Antonio Brown and that essentially he's not even talking uh, to the Oakland Raiders anymore. Now, uh, keep in mind, this guy is not a Raider beat writer. He has no Raider inside information. Uh, but after he came out and stated what he stated, uh, Michael Gelkin, who is a Raiders beat writer, uh, put this article out in which he claimed that Antonio Brown will rejoin the Raiders shortly, uh, according to his source. Uh, he also wrote, foot condition is largely considered a non-issue moving forward. So just considering that, uh, his foot's obviously okay. However, after this tweet, a lot more stuff started coming out. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about some of the other stuff. So uh, first and foremost, Michael Gelkin says AB is expected to come back. Uh, Chase Williams in the morning saying there's some sort of issue going on and the Raiders are no longer even talking to Antonio Brown. Or, or should I say they haven't really heard from AB, uh, which doesn't make sense to me, right? I know uh, John Gruden doesn't want to necessarily talk about it, which is great. I don't think he should talk about this at all. Uh, but since Michael Gelkin put this article out, a couple more things have happened. Michael Silver uh, posted this really, really long tweet, and I'll go through it slowly for you guys and just kind of give you guys my thoughts and opinions. Now, there's like 10 different pieces to this tweet, so we're going to just go through it. Um, you guys can obviously see it. Uh, he, I'm going to just read it right off of, off of the screen. <clears throat> this is according to Michael Silver. He wrote, even before suffering bizarre injuries to his feet, Antonio Brown alarm, alarmed Raiders coaches and teammates by railing against the NFL's enhanced enforcement of helmet regulations, policies change, which will likely force a star receiver to switch to a new model. And he's, uh, he's referring to the helmet, right? So he's saying that he's going to have to switch to a new helmet. Brown's vocal resistance to the mandate, both during OTAs and shortly after arrival in Napa for training camp, has contributed to a disconnect with the team that acquired the seven-time Pro Bowl selection. So essentially, he's saying over a helmet dispute, Antonio Brown essentially got pissed off or whatever it may be. <clears throat> and then he even writes in this uh, third tweet you guys can see here, according to four sources familiar with Brown's current absence from camp, which dates back to late last week, Raiders coaches and players are concerned that the receiver's unhappiness regarding the helmet issue may be playing a role in the decision uh, to stay away from Napa. Now, I want you guys to, to read the, into this for a second. Raiders coaches and players are concerned that the receiver's unhappiness regarding the helmet issue may, M-A-Y, may be playing a role in his decision to stay away from Napa. Right off of the, uh, the third tweet here, Michael Silver says may. According to four sources, so are all four of them saying may? Are all four of them just guessing? Are they just assuming? I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm going to skip through some of these tweets uh, here on the screen. Uh, of course, we all know about his foot, right? Which is what this is saying. Um, now, keep in mind, the, the the main issue here is since the NFL actually switched uh, helmet requirements, right? So the helmet that Antonio Brown's used throughout his whole entire career is no longer usable. You can't wear that style of helmet. Uh, and essentially, Michael Silver is saying that um, because of that, because of the fact that uh, AB wants to use a helmet that's no longer allowed, he threw a fit over is essentially what he's saying. Um, when I'm going to skip down to tweet number 10, uh, Michael Silver writes, when he, as an AB, when AB showed up for the first OTA, however, Brown requested his old helmet. 
So uh, saying that he requested it. After being told he'd have to wear an approved model, witnesses say the wide receiver loudly voiced his displeasure, complaining quarterbacks such as Brady and Rodgers were not being subjected. All right, so Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers also had the same helmet that AB used in uh, prior seasons. And both of those guys have already switched. They're moved on. Now, AB is not allowed to allowed to keep his old helmet. <laughs> and according to this, I actually kind of find it funny. Um, let me find the tweet for you guys. But apparently, uh, apparently Antonio Brown uh, spray painted over his old helmet and he tried using that old helmet which doesn't make sense now he, he tried he apparently spray painted it uh, or he repainted it here it is he says however sometime in the next couple of weeks brown once again tr tried to take the field with his old helmet which he had since had repainted with colors approximating but not completely mimicking the raider silver and black design so <laughs> this guy is claiming that uh, antonio brown repainted over his helmet which i don't know i don't know if that happened but he does claim that he has four sources as well as witnesses that say that AB threw a fit when he was given his new helmet. Just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, and Adam Scheffler also talked about this. And he, Adam Scheffler claimed, uh, and this this tweet here is the most recent one. Um, and now this, Raiders wide receiver AB has told team officials that unless he gets to wear his old helmet, he will not play football again, per league sources. I just don't know what to make of this. You know, um, apparently he's filed for uh, grievance, whatever that means with the league, um, that he wants to wear his old helmet. I don't know how true this is. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me that over a helmet, this whole storyline is being created. Now, I actually want to show you guys one more thing, which is uh, what Antonio Brown put out this morning, uh, because I think it's actually very important. Uh, and I actually don't like necessarily like what uh, AB put out there. Uh, I want to switch over to that and show you guys that. So this t uh, Instagram post that AB put out uh, was two hours ago. He put this out and essentially this video, I'm not going to show it to you guys, but this is just the uh, his ranking or the video of the NFL top 100. Uh, but what I want you guys to focus on is this title, or, or I'm sorry, this uh, caption, um, because it's very revealing in my opinion. Uh, AB first said, I love the game, which no one questions. He says, I love the hustle. Youngin got dough. He can leave the league, but if I leave, will the fans still gonna love me, man? Paid in full. Um, I want you guys to reread this because at first it didn't really make sense to me. Um, because obviously he doesn't put the commas and all that other stuff in, right? Uh, if you read this portion right here, right, he should have put a comma after this because this part doesn't really make sense. But if you think about it, he's saying youngin as in himself, right? He's a young young person. Youngin got dough as in money. So he's saying uh, youngin got dough. It should have been a comma. And then he's saying he can leave the league. It should be another comma. But if I leave comma will the fans still go love me man paid in full that's very revealing in my opinion uh if i'm you know i'm if i had to take that tweet or that uh instagram post a certain way to me it sounds like ab is saying he's already got his money he's willing to leave because he's paid in full that's what that is telling me now uh you guys know how antonio brown is he's very um He's very cryptic, right, with some of his messaging and stuff like that. I don't know what all of this means. I definitely do not like this. You know, he could have came out and posted a um, an IG story or, or post and said, hey, you know what? This is what's going on. I use this helmet for this number of years. I want to see if the league will allow me to continue using that helmet. Therefore, I'm filing this. If not, it's cool. You know, I'm still rehabbing my feet. I'll be back hopefully within the next week or two. Uh, once my trainers tell me I'm good to go, or once my doctors say I'm good to go, that's all he had to do, but he didn't. And, and these are the kind of things that really make me question uh, Antonio Brown. And, you know, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys would have known prior to the AB trade, I had made it specifically clear that I did not want a B, uh, especially for a, like a first or second round pick because of the distraction that he is. And he is a distraction. You know, I I'm not saying that I hate him because I still really, really like him. I love his work ethic. He has a crazy good work ethic that most people don't have. Right. AB has that work ethic that most of these people don't have. But at the same time, 
why does he have to do these types of things? Why does he have to give the media and give other people um, the opportunity to talk shit about him? Like, why does he have to do that? You know, I get it. Maybe it's his brand, right? Maybe he wants uh, to get the get people talking about him. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. But as a fan, I look from the outside in. It's not a good look. You know, at the end of the day, get to work and and just just perform, right? That's just my opinion on this. But I want to know what you guys think about this story. Do you guys think it's a big deal what he's doing? If you guys don't, tell me why. If you guys do, tell me why you guys think it's a big deal. Uh, I gave you guys my opinion. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys are already here. I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.